general rule, as a general rule, you would think in today's professional wrestling and entertainment climate that you would want to inform your audience, your fans, your paying customers, what they might actually be able to expect to get for their money. It's just a thought. Just a thought. You would think that you would want to appear organized enough. You would want to think you would appear uh, planned out well enough to where fans could actually know what to expect on an upcoming pay-per-view. Especially if you're expecting them to pay big ticket prices in order to go see the event live, or even if you're just expecting people to spend three and a half or four hours on a damn Sunday night watching your pay-per-view on the freaking network. You would think, if nothing else, you would have the respect for your fans, your paying customers, to be bothered to give a crap to actually put together a full show. But not surprisingly, the WWE, in a week of raw season premiere that blew chunks, NXT going head up against AEW, and then Friday Night Smackdown on Fox, poor old Helen a Cell has been just sitting there kind of on the island of bastard toys, and his company didn't bother to think about how to build up to the damn thing that you're expecting people to pay big ticket prices to see in person on Sunday or, by God, watch for three and a half, four hours on the freaking network. It's like you just thought that putting Bray Wyatt, the fiend, in these different commercials, pumping up the event was going to be enough to hold it over, and it's not. How in the hell are we sitting here coming up on Sunday night for a show that's going to be three and a half to four hours of main card, and you have exactly four freaking matches advertised. How is that good business for anybody? I understand this company is far more concerned about getting the fucking money from the Saudi government and putting together a freaking crown jewel show. I understand this has been a busy week for them with Raw, with NXT, with SmackDown on Fox. And their attention has been somewhat diverted. But nonetheless, you would think, if anything, you would want to utilize those platforms of television. You would want to utilize a platform of a new network home like Fox to pump up your network. You would think. You would think. But clearly not in this case. And here's my thing. Looking at the four matches you've got announced right now. That's what, maybe a two-hour show? Hour and a half to two-hour show at best? The show starts at 7. You know it's going to go to 10.30, maybe 11. What the hell is going on here? If you don't care, WWE, why should fans? If you can't be bothered enough to let us know ahead of time what to expect out of that show then why should we feel bothered on a Sunday night to take three, four hours of our precious time and devote it to your product? And I don't want to hear the crap of, well, back in the day, you would have filler matches on the pay-per-views and so forth. Sure. And we're also not in those times, because if we were in those times, I would be talking about, you know, big stars and so on and so forth, and shit didn't matter as much. How do you even adequately measure who's potentially a draw? When you throw so many people randomly out there and you don't give people purpose, you don't have characters, you don't have stories, how would you even know who the hell the draw is or not? It's part of the reason why you don't have any. And to me, as much as anything else, it's just laziness and flat-out sloppiness, and you shouldn't let WWE off the damn hook. This is what the hell do you have announced. You got a Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns versus Rowan and Harper fucking tag match. Skippy, skippy, whoop de woo! You've been building up to that. <laughs> what do you have? You have Sasha Banks and Becky for the title in a hell in a cell. Okay, you've been building up for that one for a while. Charlotte and Bailey for the other title. All right, you've been building up for that one for a little bit. But are any of those other three matches really a match for you to care that much about? And before you sit there and be a smartass and you say Charlotte and Bailey, really? Really? And before you sit there and say Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch, really? 
Really? Because again, you've gone out of your way, I think, to make Sasha look like shit here. Why would I care? Either Becky's still the man and she wins, or Sasha wins and you'll just undercut her the first chance you get. And even then, you haven't been that interested in building up to that. The one match that they've really built up to here is Seth Rollins versus The Fiend. So when I think about Sunday night and I think about Hell in a Cell, they're going to throw other matches on the card. And instead of making this almost like an in-your-house pay-per-view where maybe it's two, two and a half hours, and the audience would actually enjoy that in a week that has been already oversaturated with wrestling, the last thing we need is a fucking four-hour show to cap it off. We haven't bothered to build half of the damn card out at any time. The reality is, all I'm probably going to do is I'm going to sit there and keep my eye on Twitter Sunday night. And when I start to get word that The Fiend is going to wrestle, I'll probably tune into that match. Because here's the thing. When I look at it right now, I could either watch Patrick Mahomes on Sunday Night Football. Or I could watch this show that WWE has half-assed their way into. Most exciting young quarterback to come in the National Football League in decades versus a half ass show that this company clearly doesn't even care about because they're more concerned about the Saudi show coming up in a few weeks. You know, the world is about competition, and you either put up or you shut up. And the NFL puts up something like Patrick Mahomes playing on prime time on Sunday Night Football. And the WWE throws out two women's championship matches I can give a crap less about. I couldn't give a crap less about. You got a tag match with guys that are in wrong positions, just all types of dumb and stupid. Oh, we're going to push Eric Rowan. Ah, how's that going to work out for you? You literally got one match that has my interest, and the only reason that has the interest is because I want to see either A, how they fuck this up with The Fiend, or B, potentially the hope or the dream that it might be The Undertaker that somehow comes out and appears some way and interferes with The Fiend. Or see you, Fiend wins the damn title. I'm not going to review this show because I'm not going to watch the whole damn show. And I encourage all of you to do the same thing. If the company can't be bothered to care, why should you? If the company isn't worried about it, why should you be? Pick and choose what you want to watch, and if they didn't promote it, they didn't market it, they didn't advertise it, they didn't bother to announce it ahead of time, it's all filler, pointless crap. They're telling you that. So why would you waste your time watching it? Because I know I sure won't. Patrick Mahomes is on Sunday Night Football. Watching Hell in a Cell for three and a half, four hours when the company doesn't care? Nah, that's a no for me, dog. Catch me on the main event, and that's about it.